All right, here we are with uh, lecture video three, and we're going to continue on with uh, using significant figures or sig figs or significant digits, however you want to call them, in uh, calculations, because we just went through all the rules for those. And let's actually come back and remind ourselves what those rules are before we move on. So with addition and subtraction, your final answer will have the same number of decimal places as the fewest decimal places in your problem. And then in multiplication division, your final answer will have the same number of significant digits as the fewest sig figs in the data. Okay, so addition subtraction is about decimal places, multiplication division is about significant digits. All right, so let's take a look at a problem. So just as a reminder, in case you forgot, area equals length times width. Okay, so if we have a length and a width in our problem and we want to find out what the area is, we need to multiply length times width. So go ahead and give this problem a pause, work on it on your own, and see if you can work out the answer and then come back. So if you have worked this out yourself, and you'll need your calculator for it, hopefully this is what you entered into your calculator. You should have something that looks like 2.700E4, in parentheses, times 5.23E3, parentheses. And hopefully what you got back is going to be 1.41 times 10 to the 8 meters squared. Okay, because we have meters for our length and meters for our width. And so when we multiply meters by meters, we get meters squared. Okay, so why do we have this number instead of, so which was C? So why is it this one and not one of the others? And the reason is because we have, let's use a different color, we have three sig figs in this number and four sig figs in this number. And if we're multiplying, our final answer should have the same number of sig figs as our fewest sig figs in the data. And the slide tells us we are correct. All right, so this one takes a minute to read. Um, go ahead and give us a pause, and we'll come back. All right, so coming back, we are trying to figure out exactly how, uh, how many kilometers would you commute all right, so we're going to say 31.7 kilometers times 20 trips per kilometer, or 20 kilometers, bleh, forget what I, forget I said that, 31.7 kilometers times 20 trips. Okay, now let's think about that. So remember the whole thing about counting numbers? being exact. So this 20 trips, that's a counting number. Okay, you took 20 whole trips, exactly 20 trips. So this one will have infinite sig figs, right? So if you have, so you could say 20.000 on into infinity, on an infinite number of sig figs. So when we put that number into the calculator, we get 634, okay? Not 634.0000, but because the 20 has an infinite number of sig figs, the fewest number of sig figs in our problem is here. There's three significant digits in that part of the answer. So our final answer here 
will just be th three, uh, 634 kilometers. Okay, because this number has three sig figs. Okay, let's take a look at another problem. This one having to do with uh, nutrition, All right? So kilocalories are the standard unit that you actually find on nutritional labels. Okay, so when, when you look on a nutritional label and it says, you know, 400 calories, they're talking about kilocalories. Okay, in every, uh, so there's a certain number of kilocalories in 350 milliliters of energy soda or in soda. So we want to report the energy content of the soda in kilocalories per milliliter. All right, so when you see something that looks like this, that means we want to divide. Okay, kilocalories per milliliter means we're going to divide the kilocalories by the milliliters. So give this, a, give this a try and see if you can figure out how to report that answer to the correct number of significant digits. All right, we're back. So putting this into your calculator, what you would enter is 1.50E2 divided by 350.0. Okay, and we've got kcals and milliliters. All right? So when you punch that into your calculator, you should get an answer that is 0 0.4285714, <laughs> all kinds of digits. All right, but let's take a look. This 150 has three significant digits. The 350.0, that has four significant digits. Remember, trailing zeros always count. So our final answer, we're going to look at the third significant digit, which is right here. All right, and then I'm gonna look one digit to the right to decide whether I round up or round down. So the correct answer for this would be 0 0.429 kcals per milliliter, which is this one. So give this one a try. Remember your addition subtraction rule is about decimal places. Give us a pause, work it out, and then come back. All right, so let's take a look at what you should get. So if you put all these numbers into your calculator as they are, what your calculator should have given back to you is 57.649 centimeters. All right? Now, the addition subtraction rule, our final answer has the same number of decimal places as the fewest decimal places in our problem. So here I have one decimal place, here I have three, and here I have two. So my final answer, I'm going to stop at the first decimal place. I'm going to look one digit to the right to decide whether to round up or round down. So my final answer to the correct sig figs, 57.6 centimeters. Go ahead and give this one a try. Remember, if you're multiplying units, then your units will become uh, meters squared. Right, so if you put this into your calculator, what it should have given back to you is 185.589. And this will be meters squared, right? So our multiplication division rule says that the fewest sig figs in the problem tells us how many sig figs are in our answer. So this number has three significant digits. This number has five significant digits. Because remember, trailing zeros always count for sig figs. 
right? So our final answer should have three significant digits. So I'm going to look at my third significant digit, and I'm going to find one digit to the right to decide whether I round up or round down. So it's a five, so I'm going to round up. So I'm going to report my final answer to 186 square meters. And looks like we were correct. All right, so give this one a try and see what you get. So if we come back and we have $500, and it's just you and a friend, so divided by two, how many significant digits should be there? All right, so remember, this is a counting number. So it has infinite significant digits. Right? There's not 2.1 people involved here. We have counted two people, you and a friend. Right? So if that has infinite significant digits, then we look at this number, which has five significant digits, to tell us how many significant digits should be in our answer. So we each get $250.00. because this one should have five significant digits. All right, we're gonna cut that video off right here. Uh, the last couple of videos were a little longer than I meant to, and then we'll come back talking about a new topic.